Are you making another video about peeing yourself? What? No, no, why am I gonna do that? You know how awkward it is to be known for pissing yourself? Okay, okay, I was just curious, checking in on you. What do you want? Well, now that you insist. Do you get aroused when you pee? <laughs> what? There have been many scientific studies stating it is common for someone to be turned on by peeing, so... No, 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 what is, what is wrong with you? Remember when you tried peeing behind the tree and the wind brought it back in your leg and you said someone in your mouth, so I was just curious if that was... This is, this is gonna be a fun video. Don't look at me. I'm just doing my job. I hate you. The time I wet my bed. Here we go again. According to this very legitimate website that I searched up, one in every 10 persons who wear a diaper at 35 years of age pee themselves frequently throughout the year. Now, I am not 35 years old, nor am I wearing a diaper, but this information tells me that no matter who you are, people still pee themselves a lot. Yeah, I'm talking about you watching me through your phone, tablet, or computer. You probably don't even know it or peeing yourself right now watching me. Ew. When I was 15, Oh my god, you peed your pants when you were 15? What a loser! Ah! I'm not proud of it. Peeing is just a normal bodily function that occurs when your bladder fills up, and as I've said before, my sack is very small. Meaning my bladder. I just want to put that out there. Everyone must know that my imagination is very borderline concerning. Hence the majority of all my videos. When it comes to sleeping, I dream a lot. Unlike the normal person, I have control of a lot of my dreams. If you're unfamiliar with the term lucid dream, a lucid dream is when an individual is well aware they are dreaming and have full control of some aspects in their dream's environment, but never leave the dream state. You may be wondering, what kinds of dreams do you have? Can you often do a lucid dream? Can I do a lucid dream? Are you okay? And the answer to that is, the hell do I know? I'm just a random person on the internet telling a story of how I pissed myself. I have absolutely zero credibility in what I say that pertains to that matter. All I know is what I remember from school and what I gained from the internet. So yes, I am a reliable source. In all seriousness, any person, no matter who you are, I would assume has the capabilities to control their dreams. Maybe not all the time, but once in a blue moon. Also, with that in mind, everyone has the capabilities to piss their bed too. Now, you're probably wondering, how does one pee themselves if they are quote-unquote controlling their dream? Well, while I was saving the world from the ender flipping dragon, I had to take a leak. I rushed through this time-traveling door into another dimension, as all people do, obviously, bringing me to a suitable and well-arranged porta potty Dream logic. Am I right? Remember when I said how you only have control of some aspects of your dreams? Well, this was the turning point of my night. I was well aware I was fighting the Ender Dragon. I was like Dream during a manhunt, taking on five different guys at the same time. Oh my god, wait, no! <clears throat> Getting back to the story. The porta potty was completely random. I remember going through the door and then boom, I was in a porta potty. The last thing I remember was having a completely filled bladder and releasing every ounce of liquid in my body. I can draw out this video even longer, but everyone can assume what happened next. Uh, oh, 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 this is not an ordinary piss. It felt like I just unloaded 27 gallons of pure urine that saturated my entire bed. My sheets were soaked and it ended up seeping through my entire mattress. Let this be a lesson to you all. Pee before you go to bed. Don't stay up watching a live stream, going on social media, and finding every excuse possible to stay awake, then decide not to release your fluids once more. I wet my bed. There. I said it. With confidence. I wet my bed and I'm proud. <laughs> oh my god. It definitely could have been worse. If my mom or dad walked out and I had seen my pants were completely wet. If my brother caught me with my pants drenched in urine, I would have been exposed to all of social media. <laughs> the irony. I think it's safe to say it would have made this story a lot more interesting if I was caught wetting myself. I have issues with my bladder as evidence in peeing myself at the store and pissing myself in my own bed. I also realized that the majority of the times that I peed myself, I was well above my preteen years. On that note, I think what we can all gather is that I really should consider wearing diapers again. That was a joke. That- <laughs> 
that, that, that was a joke. That was a joke. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the outro. God, I forgot how awkward it is to make an outro. I hope you all enjoyed the video. It's been over a year since the last story time animation, so hopefully this lives up to the hype. I've been working nonstop to get this video uploaded, and I'm very proud how it came out. Embarrassing stories are always great to share with everyone. <laughs> I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but just thank you all as cliche as thank yous are for just being patient with me, supporting my channel, sticking with me even when I don't consistently upload. It means the absolute world to me. I have so many other projects to work on, story time animation projects to work on, which means so much content for all of you. I, I think that's that's it. I'm kind of done talking. <laughs> so, all right, everyone, uh, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Love you all. And have a good day or night or or, you know, yeah, Asiago.